everyone this is Deepika welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to make uh, peas and capsicum rice uh, this is a great combination for uh, many Indian gravies uh, it's actually it goes very well with the uh, tomato based gravies so let's go over the ingredients so that we can get started I have about one and a half cups of rice here uh, I have one big onion which are which is thinly sliced then I have some peas which is thawed. You can use fresh peas if, if, if it's available in your supermarket. Um, and then I have some capsicum or green pepper which is cut. Um, and then I have some a coriander or cilantro. I have a couple of green chilies. And then I have some garam masala here, some ginger garlic paste, uh, some butter. This butter is both for, uh, you know, it's not completely for this recipe. Uh, we might need about, um, you know, one eighth cup of butter. And then I have some whole garam masala here, uh, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, uh, some cumin and some fennel seeds. And then I have some salt and some sunflower oil. Uh, so let's go to the kitchen and get started. First, I'm going to roast my rice in some butter and then cook it separately before mixing it with my veggies. So let's get started. So I have a pan heating here. I'm going to add about half a spoon of butter to this. You can add more if you want. Um, and always make sure that when you're adding butter add like half a spoon of oil so that the butter just doesn't get burnt so once the butter melts add the rice so i have normal rice here but you can use basmati rice if you have that's going to give you a lot of more flavor uh, but we generally prefer this so i'm just going to add my rice and just saute the rice in the butter i'm doing this because it's going to make sure that the rice uh, doesn't mash when you know it is cooked or it also makes sure that you know the rice is completely coated in butter so it adds extra flavor to it but as I said if you're using basmati rice it's you can just add it like directly so I'm going to saute the rice for some time and I'll see you back when the rice is ready so the rice is nicely brown now so I'm going to switch off the flame now and then I'm going to add this rice to my rice cooker and uh, let it so now I added my rice to my rice cooker and I added uh, one is to two ratio rice is to water so I added about three cups of water a little lesser than three cups because I want the rice to be grainy uh, so now I'm adding some salt to this like whatever salt you need for the rice uh, and then I'm going to add some butter so this is going to give some extra flavor just mix in uh, now I'm going to close the rice cooker and let this rice cook completely. Let's start making the vegetables for the rice. So I have a pan heating here. I'm going to add some butter, as usual, a little bit of oil. Now I'm going to add all my whole garam masala um, and cashew nuts. Sorry guys, I forgot to mention the bay leaf and the cashew nuts in the initial list. So uh, I'm going to add in all my whole garam masala. Make sure you're uh, doing this in a low flame because like all of these tend to get burnt easily. Now I'm going to add in my onions. Um, once you add the onions, I'm going to add very little ginger garlic paste. And then just saute this for some time. So uh, you want the onions to brown up and you also want the uh, ginger garlic to lose its raw smell. Uh, everything should cook really nicely well and uh, give like a nice aroma. So now I'm going to add some salt to the onion. Can you see how the onions have you know started to uh, become brown? And then I'm going to add uh, some garam masala powder. Just give this a quick toss. Make sure you reduce the heat now because the masala tends to become brown so now once i have sauteed with my garam masala for like few seconds i'm going to add my piece and cook this for a bit i usually like the vegetables to be crunchy in my rice so that's why i'm adding the peas and the capsicum separately and then mixing it with the rice um, so that's why i didn't cook the rice and the vegetables together so you just want to cook this for a few minutes and then add the capsicum, cook it for another two minutes and that's it, we are done. 
The piece is still nice and green. So at this stage, I'm going to add my green peppers or capsicum. Um, mix everything together nicely. Actually, I guess you can just eat this without the rice and it would make for a nice high dish. Um, so I'm just going to toss this for a few more minutes. And now if you see, I'm going to reduce my heat to like, you know, between two and three so that it's really less. And then just toss this for a few minutes. So I just cooked the peas and capsicum for maybe two minutes. So that's it. Um, it's, it's nicely cooked now. I had a taste test. It was really good. So I'm just going to switch off the flame and keep it aside and wait for my rice to cook. So my rice is completely cooked now. I've just spread the rice on a baking sheet and I'm just going to let it uh, cool down for a bit. Uh, maybe like 10 minutes. Uh, the rice is so... Can you see how it's grainy? Usually basmati rice is only grainy, but uh, this is like the normal pony rice. Since we added butter, we roasted it in butter, it's nice and grainy. So this is how I want my rice. So once the rice is cooled down, I'm going to mix it with my vegetable mix, which I already have. And then we are going to taste the awesome, delicious peas and capsicum rice. So I'm going to add the rice, which I uh, just let cool for like, 10 15 minutes so i have it have the uh, stove in like between medium and high so i'm going just going to mix my rice and veggies can you see how the peas and capsicum like still retain their shape and they're green um so this is a great recipe actually so i added my coriander just giving it a mix so now the rice is done and it's ready to get plated so the rice is completely done now. I'm going to transfer it to a plate. So this smells so good guys. So let's go to the table and taste it. So I have my rice ready here. I'm going to give it a taste test. It's pretty hot. It smells so good. This is so good. Like I can instantly taste the coriander, I can instantly taste the flavor of peas. Like peas has like a peculiar sweet taste that comes across so good and it's crunchy as I said, as I said. And the capsicum also adds uh, a different flavor profile to it. And all the garam masala and the onion is so beautifully caramelized. So that's also really good. And this is just for my husband and I, so I'm using the same spoon. But this just tastes so good guys. I'm also making another recipe for paneer butter masala which will be on my channel too so when you eat that paneer butter masala with this dish it's gonna just taste amazing uh, so thank you so much for watching this video with me I hope you enjoyed this definitely try this out and let me know how it turned out if you like this video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later with more videos thank you bye bye take care